Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're taking a first look at Hype Arrows to Point Zero running on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now, I was really excited to try this out, especially since it's supposedly based on Android 15. However, this is going to be a bit of a different kind of first impressions video because, honestly, this ROM is riddled with bugs. Haven't even used this ROM for more than 5 hours and I've already encountered a laundry list of issues. It's gotten to the point where it's almost unusable for daily tasks. So, instead of a typical in-depth review, I wanted to quickly highlight the major problems I've faced so far. The first major one I encountered was the auto-reboot after entering the Wi-Fi password. Yes, you heard that right. Every single time I tried to connect to a new Wi-Fi network, the phone would just restart. Another significant issue is that I couldn't restore from the cloud. Moving on to general performance, the control center is incredibly laggy. Pulling it down is often met with stutters and delays, making quick settings adjustments a pain. Speaking of restarts, I've also experienced random reboots happening even when I'm not actively doing anything on the phone. This is a major stability concern. Perhaps one of the most critical bugs is that mobile data simply doesn't work. I've tried multiple SIM cards and different network settings, but I cannot get a mobile data connection at all. The brightness slider also exhibits abnormal behavior. It's not completely broken, but it's definitely buggy. Sometimes it doesn't respond accurately, or the brightness jumps around unexpectedly. I've also encountered a rare case where I couldn't clean the recent apps. The option to clear all recent apps simply wouldn't work, forcing me to swipe away each app individually. The RAM management seems to be really poor on this for gigabytes RAM device. I'm consistently seeing only around 800 to 1000 megabytes of RAM free. This severely impacts multitasking and contributes to the overall sluggishness. Overall, the entire ROM feels incredibly laggy. Simple tasks like opening apps, scrolling through menus, and even typing can be met with noticeable delays. And honestly, considering the number of issues I've already found in just a few hours, there might be many more bugs lurking within this ROM. That's it for this quick look at the very buggy Hype Arrows to Point Zero on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me know in the comments if you've had a similar experience or if you're planning to try this ROM. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.